Yellowstone is not just the nation's first national park, it is the world's first national park. Millions of people from around the world come to see it every year. They may come to see the wildlife, which comprises one of the world's most intact ecosystems of its kind, with bison, bears, wolves, elk, moose, raptors. The park's more than 10,000 thermals are the greatest concentration of geysers, hot springs, and fumaroles in the world. And Yellowstone's waterfalls, lake, and mountain vistas bring people who just want to embrace the beauty. I was a fee collecting ranger at the park's east entrance for five summers. And I found some people were coming for more than just the view. Some were coming for their last trip on Earth. One woman told me she had been diagnosed with brain cancer, and her doctor told her if she was going to take that trip to Yellowstone with her husband, now is the time. Fellow Ranger Emmett McCarthy. When I had the privilege of working at the East Entrance, a family of three generations pulled up to my gate. The driver explained that the grandfather in the passenger seat had terminal cancer and returning to Yellowstone was one of his last wishes. They said that this would be the last trip of his life. The grandfather was extremely emotional. I can remember feeling deeply moved by this experience and the interaction helped me to understand just how meaningful places like Yellowstone National Park are to so many people. Since I could sign, I was asked to help a deaf man and his family who had camped nearby. He told me he had stomach cancer and was bending over in pain as he smiled and talked about a float trip in Grand Teton he had taken years before. He wanted his family to enjoy the parks too. But the most unusual visitor to me was not coming for his last trip on Earth. He handed me his fee with his feet. He had no hands or arms. He was driving with his feet and joking with the teenagers who were in the back of his car. They were part of a church group who had come to Yellowstone to volunteer to pick up trash on the roadsides. So the man with no hands was going to pick up trash in his national park, and he was glad to do it. For Yellowstone Revealed, I'm Penny Preston reporting.